This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, well, August. Okay, so this is just an update for August. The timing is going to be on you and the universe and all that. So we're just going to see what is coming up. So bear with me while I'm getting back used to my psychic camera and getting it all adjusted and all that. Well, I think we're going to take those because it's two and I didn't want to use this whole deck. So we're going to take the two. Sun, happiness and well-being. So this is shining, shining bright, doing things with love. You know, the sun is the center, right? And it brings a lot of warmth, okay, and healing energy. So you may be radiating, okay? Um... This isn't a really good, positive mindset. It may be a time of growth and fertility, maybe even rebirth for you. Um, you may be absolutely glowing, okay? Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So there is a level of indecisiveness here. I mean, this is focusing on happiness. This is seeing things clearly. The sun is. It's a whole lot of clarity. But this is interesting. Maybe you're just focused on being yourself. Okay, shining. Letting your, letting your light shine, right? Um, but this is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune, though, huh? Wheels represent the Wheel of Fortune. So you, things may be happening, okay? Something may be happening in your life. Maybe you're giving up on things. Maybe you're, you're, uh, this is kind of like carefree because this is the rambling aimlessly. Maybe this could be very carefree. Um, indecisiveness. So there's some sort of indecisiveness here in regards to which direction that you want to go. But if the wheels, our wheels spin and they move you. So it feels like you're moving. You're moving into something new. Hmm. Let's get one of these. Keep on checking that camera, so bear with me. What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Hey, don't forget to subscribe and like and even comment, okay? If you like what I do, please subscribe to support my channel and to support my growth. I would really appreciate that. Door open. So there is a door that is opening. You may be coming out of the dark into the light. So I don't know if you've been in a dark place, but we have the light here, we have the light here. So a door is opening. Um, maybe a door that was once closed is opening. Okay, so there is some sort of door that is opening. Let's get one of these for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? For August. What's up next? What's up next? You're headed down a new path. Do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality work. This is the Three of Pentacles. This may be a new work path. Um, Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. Being paid well for your craft. Working well with others. An excellent reputation. So, so you may be getting some sort of reward and recognition from somebody. This is doing very, very good work. You obviously have some sort of skills that you have mastered, right? So I wonder if somebody is seeking out your skills. You have some sort of talent. 
Um, this is the Three of Pentacles. And doing what you love. It's interesting because it feels like we have a big announcement here. There's There could be an announcement that is coming. Um, I also feel like you're multitasking. You may be doing multiple things at one time. Um, but very, very focused on doing an extremely good job. Take a look at that. This is chipping away and making sure that everything is perfect. That is a skill that not a lot of people have. Sometimes people try to rush through things and they do things, you know, half-ass and that doesn't last, right? It doesn't build the reputation that is needed. This is your energy. It's the Three of Pentacles. So you're probably getting some sort of appreciation or recognition for a high quality of work. Now somebody may be seeking you out as well for some sort of skills that you have. This may be new work or developing new skills even. Some of you may be learning new skills to perfect whatever it is that you do. You may even have some sort of artistic ability that, you know... can make you some sort of money or make you some sort of profit. I do feel like there's an announcement that is coming and you may be stepping into a new place. Maybe you're going to be proving yourself to somebody. It feels like somebody's seeking you out and you collaborate with them and you work really hard to achieve the goal that you set and you do a good job. very very focused six of wands victory congratulations wise choices that bring public recognition so there's recognition here you got it twice and this is shining this is in the spotlight so you are going to be getting some sort of recog recognition. This is congratulations, promotions, awards, or scholarships. This is the Six of Wands. So hard work paying off, being rewarded for some sort of hard work, getting recognition. They're stepping out of a dark place into the light. You're, you're, I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight for some reason. If it's not the spotlight, you're going down this new hall, this through this new doorway, and opportunities are presented. But this, the Six of Wands is somebody that is in the spotlight as well. So you may be getting a lot of support or recognition. For, and that is a job well done, both of these cards. So you're getting recognition for good work. What do we have for Taurus? And this is a yes answer. We have yes here and we have yes here. So there's a yes answer here. This is somebody that is very focused. So you, I think that you're very focused on getting it done right. And that is adm admirable. A lot of people don't, right? Let's just push through it, right? And... That, that leaves a lot of mistakes, huh? I say it all the time. Speeding causes accidents. That might be the Taurus in me. I knew that was the Wheel of Fortune. I knew that it was. I told you. That is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is something that is happening. This is the end of a cycle. This is a the end of a chapter. This is uh, the wheel spinning. It's the wheel of fate. This is good luck. This is good news. This is a positive change. It is a very positive change. Luck is on your side. So I feel like we go from this rambling aimlessly to a very positive change. This is the end of some sort of dark cycle or something like that or bad luck or delays or whatever. There's movement here and this is extremely positive. This is the winds of change, right? It is. Something is happening. This is positive direction. 
This is a fated turn of events. The end of a significant cycle where there's obviously been darkness or delays. Ah, oh, there's the darkness. The devil's darkness. And this is breaking free. It's severing ties. It's taking back control. So, you know, it's very interesting. So you're, this is coming out of the darkness. It's confirming everything that I'm saying. I listen to my intuition. And this is clarity. And that is clarity. Seeing things clearly. This is, this is somebody who works hard to develop the skills. Literally. This is breaking free from something that is unhealthy. Closing a door. A dark door. Whatever this is. This is a, like a breaking free from some sort of attachment that has kept you bound. That has made you frustrated. That was. It's really hard to break free from. It may have been some sort of codependency. It could be drugs, alcohol, smoking, food, gambling, materialism. Lust, you know, bad partnership. It is a bad partnership. So this is the end of a toxic, unhealthy attachment. What else do we have for Taurus? I feel like maybe you've been through a dark night of the soul situation, you know. It's been, it's been rough to break free from this. Ooh, wow! The devil twice in reverse. You're breaking free from lots of things, huh? Oh my God, deep dark place, deep depression. This is, this is like hell. I don't know if you've been living in hell or you've been in some sort of hell. I mean, I, can't, I mean, whatever. Wow, this is breaking, breaking up, breaking free, severing ties, cutting cords, chains breaking. Taking back control. This is like coming out of a shadow period. Maybe you've been in, in the dark or you've been in a shadow phase. Stepping into the light. I'm serious. Double. It's very interesting because this is a double break. And this is double blessings. This is both recognition, getting recognition. And this is two breaks, two, two. It's two breaks. It's, it is. Maybe you're going to catch a break. That's what I just heard. Dark, 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 dark place. <laughs> I'm telling you what. But this Wheel of Fortune is the end of a cycle of some sort of attachment. And I feel like it's more than one. It, it must be at least two. And three of uh, pentacles, a hard worker. That's hard worker. That's very hard. It takes a lot of work to develop those skills, okay, to be successful. It's going to take discipline and willpower and a desire to achieve success, to face your darkness, to fake, face your demons, to even remain positive and see things as they are and to not skip corners is that, what I'm, is that the right word yeah 
not take shortcuts. It's the shortcuts that get you in trouble. They get you lost. Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is somebody that is very optimistic. Stepping into a new emotionally fulfilling experience with optimism. You may be receiving a message. You know, this is good news. Okay, this is welcome news arriving um, from somebody that is very intuitive, kind, caring, compassionate looking for love. This could be a new crush. This could be a flirt. This could be a new friend. Um, this could be somebody that is younger than you. This could be even a colleague. This is a message is coming from somebody. Typically, this is somebody that is younger, that is willing to take a risk and start something up with faith and optimism and this is, could bring emotional fulfillment so i think a message is coming this is a congratulations card whatever is coming this is going to make you really 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 happy okay this could just be some sort of emotional support Victory. That brings public recognition. You're going to be getting some sort of public recognition. And I think you're closing a door that has had you in a really dark place or has had you in an unhealthy situation. And this may have to do with your intuition. The page, maybe you're listening to your intuition. Page of Cups is somebody that is very intuitive. I mean, this could be you that is um, blindly, because that is somebody that doesn't, you know, I don't, I don't really have the information, but my intuition is telling me. Anyhow, I feel like you're going to receive a message that makes you very, very happy, and maybe it uh, helps you to break free. I mean, that's a faded event. It's the end of a cycle, and let me tell you, obviously, it's been doubly dark. There's some sort of proposal offer here that is coming. I don't know what kind of proposal it is, but this is an offer or an invite. Somebody that is looking for somebody that is compassionate and kind and caring that maybe has shared values because this is a compassionate, kind and caring individual that is um, making some sort of offer, okay? Expressing feelings, acting on feelings, okay? So this is movement. Somebody is going to be doing something. They're acting from the heart. They're listening to their intuition. They do have good intentions. It feels like it's water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, breaking free from some sort of toxic bond. That is, it, it, there's some, there's been some sort of in, infatuation or obsession or something like that. And I think closing the door, and it's like closing the door to both. So I don't know what both is. Two things? I feel like it's two things. I think this is a significant event for you. Let's get one more. Promotions, awards, scholarships. Now, this could be for school, work, um, getting recognition, going down a new path, closing a door. The end of a cycle. We're in, in a new endings lead to new beginnings. Something is happening. This is going in your favor. This is fate. This is fate. It's meant to be. It's meant to happen right now, whatever this is. Timing is everything, right? That's what they say.
Water. It's interesting that I mentioned water. I feel like it has something to do with water because of the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. And now we have water. So there maybe have something to do with water, which is, and here we have forging a path. You know, when, the, when there isn't a path, you forge a path, right? Pause for a few moments and quietly contemplate how water miraculously courses through your entire body, saturating and nourishing it in so many different ways. Consider how essential it is to all living beings and to Mother Earth his, herself. Circulating naturally throughout the planet, notice how there's been a lack of that same natural fluidity in both your physical movements and in the trajectory yeah, okay, of your life. That's because you're holding in a lot of emotion that has yet to be acknowledged and released. In other words, you're damned up and constricted as your body cooperates in your efforts to hold back your feelings. You're also noticing how this has affected your day-to-day -day functioning as well. You're carrying out your tasks rather stiffly with a lack of ease. Make it a point to drink water to nourish your body and your soul. It will remind you of the critical importance of this lifeblood as well as the need to remain emotionally fluid. You do need to be open. Being a Taurus, being a fixed earth sign, it's hard. Before drinking your first glass of water upon awakening, pour a little on the ground as an expression of gratitude to Mother Earth. Move a little slower and more gracefully throughout the day. It's interesting because I mentioned that during the Three of Pentacles, right? Slow. If you work fast, you don't, you typically do a good job. Move a little slower and more gracefully throughout the day, reminding yourself how water is so pervasive and so vital to your well-being, and it deserves to be honored as a sacred gift. Give yourself opportunities to allow the express expression of emotions that are behind the attempts to dismiss or disguise them. That's the devil. The devil's a disguise dismissing emotions but we have a change and being in a dark place because of those bottled up and chained up emotions oh, okay anyhow give yourself opportunities to allow the expression of emotions that are behind the attempts to dismiss or disguise them let the tears of grief flow so that so that the to tears of joy may follow like there's faded events happening um i guess there could be tears of joy if something if a miracle happened i mean i suppose that could happen um good luck